WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. We are there, folks. Another day uh, in the books. Let's take a look at what we have going on. Well, first, I want to say we had Tim Ord on the last segment. And if you missed that, I'd really recommend going to check our YouTube channel. Maybe about an hour from now, we're going to go ahead and upload that interview like we do every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, very, very good interview today with Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle. Of course, we are looking at the SPX and then gold as well. Everything's looking relatively bullish. We're taking a look at the E-mini right now, trading at 52.50. We take a look at the SPY. You know, we're pulling back a little bit, but as Tim and I were speaking about, this is on light volume. So remains to be seen how this shakes out, right? But this could be a potential bottoming period. But however, what I'm going to say, I really recommend check out that video. Make sure you give us a like and a subscribe while you're there. The Russell trading at 2060 at the end right here. Uh, the NQs off about 1.1%. Those Dow futures off about 0.8% as well. And then gold kind of ending up flat right now. We're trading at 2,339. Silver at 3,128, really down about 3.4%. And then copper as well off about 2.87%. At the end of the day, of course, we have the Ethereum ETFs coming out, uh, which is pretty cool. We were just speaking about that. Now, we only have a short segment. So I kind of just want to bring up something interesting. You know, I speak a little bit about what goes on in the realm of like cybersecurity sometimes. And uh, I remember for sure speaking about ransomware. We've been seeing this hit, um, you know, not just casinos, we've seen it hit airlines, we've seen them hit, uh, you know, hospitals, all these kind of things. Pretty nuts. So this is a really nuts story. There is a massive police sweep across Europe. And it takes down four massive ransomware networks and arrests four suspects. And that is what's so crazy about it is you can have one, two, three, four guys shut down entire networks, multi-billion dollar companies, and uh, completely screw them up. It's nuts. A lot of that takes place out in Central and Eastern Europe as well. Uh, police coordinated by the European Union's justice. Police agencies have taken down computer networks responsible for spreading ransomware via infected emails. This is the largest ever international operation against lucrative cybercrime. High value suspects were taken down, 100 servers seized in 2,000 internet domains. Pretty interesting. They had cryptocurrency worth $74 million, and that's just what they found. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. I will be back with you tomorrow at 3 p.m. I hope you have a great rest of your evening, and we'll see you then.